All right, I'm gonna review some of the build tips I've got for the real ACC with the uh, Racer Star power combo that I got off Banggood for like 105 bucks. Pretty much built it with everything it came with except I used, added these uh, motor guards, the uh, King Kong motor guards that go in between the frame and the motor. They just seemed to, for about six grams total, they had quite a bit of protection when you're riding, uh, flying around rocky stuff. Um, so starting with the frame before I build it, take a Dremel and a grinder, uh, grinding stone and knock down the edges, knock it around here to where your Velcro strap doesn't have that sharp sharpness across it. Also keeps it when you wrap your uh, you wrap tape around here, keeps it from cutting it. Um, also, while you got the grinder, uh, if you got a top mount 1177 style camera, you want to have some relief for that or else it's going to pinch your wires right here when the camera angle comes up and down. Uh, something else I did, I put a little shrink wrap around that because the way I've got some of the wires running it could rub it, uh, you could sand it around but I put a little shrink around that and I notice when I'm kind of assembling this, this wants to kind of flop around so I put another piece of shrink just around here to kind of help keep that in one piece. When I put my VTX on the top here, this is probably the one of the better VTXs to run because it lines up with your button and your lights here. But uh, let's have a, the connector for the camera going around here, and then what I do is I put I like these style connectors that uh, is what is used on the tiny whoop. It's also the same that is used on the uh, ammo way and it's the other uh, VTX that's pretty popular. Hawkeye. So it's the same same uh, plug there. And you can get a big bag of these things for uh, like five or six dollars. I use them for running LEDs and things like that, low low current. But uh, what that lets you do is when you hook that connector up, uh, I have a lead coming off the 12 volt on my PDB. Connect that up, so all my FPV comes off off uh, at once with just one connector. So it makes kind of getting getting all that off easy and accessible. Uh, something I did on the PDB when I was building it, instead of having it to where the XT60 was hanging off and down the side, I don't like that rigid because if your battery comes off it's going to yank that and damage it and break it. What some people do, they'll just cut off that if they're going to use this PDB. Uh, you got to be careful because depending on how you cut it, it will uh, can short across each other. So. If you do it, check it with the meter, make sure you don't have any ground, it's not a shorted out uh, between the traces. Um, I have two kits, so I was like, okay, I want to try not doing it on another one, so this is what I came up with. I rotated it, and I ran the power wire. If you want to run the power wire to an ESC pad and not to this, it's because this is going, it's got the bias, which goes through multiple layers of the board, and it's going to pass more current than just these that are sitting right on top. Um, so I ran it through that, the same as that ESC there, and through here, so it kind of serves as a strain relief. If you want to cover that with some shrink wrap or something, I'm afraid it's going to short, then that might not be a bad idea, but you know, the same thing goes, you're going to have shorts everywhere else, so it's kind of part of this hobby is a lot of exposed areas for shorts. But, um, We've got the XSR, the FreeSky XSR receiver mounted, double-sided taped under here. Now let me uh, talk about this. I've used a 12 millimeter screw, metal screw, a nylon lock nut, and then the PDB. That way you've got access to the slots if you want to go up, down, however on that. 
or if you just want to go simply all the way through your strap because I tend to break straps some and I want to be able to replace them easy without taking the stack apart to, to fish this through here so that achieved it or you can do it you can work it and get it through there a little bit but just keeping it clean and simple when you're going through this way I found to be the easiest used I believe it's eight millimeter um, nylon standoff here and nylon screw here I let's say double side tape that down enough to where your bind buttons here and then however you want to do your antennas I'm not decided if I want to come back this way or have something mounted off a uh, arm or off a uh, standoff something like that the flight controller that it comes with oh let's yeah, see here this is also this is what's under here so I run the this is the connector here for the voltage in for the flight controller that's just run down to these pads on the 5 volt I have these wires here running to your 5 volt rail where your inputs are and then I off, also off the flight controller, I've got this for my timing uh, ILAPS or TrackMate and then I have this connector here uh, for on 12 volts to feed my FPV. Some things to point out on the flight controller that it comes with is the set, setting up the free sky. I used UART 3 for the uh, S bus, uh, the white wire is goes to the RX, and then of course positive is the red, negative is uh, the black. The yellow wire is smart port, and instead of trying to get a connector and come out of this and splice it and go to this, I said nope. I'm just going to stow straight to here. So on the back of this. Uh, in between, oh, it's the TX and RX. It's the transmit and receive. It would be the first and second if you're looking on the back side of that. Place that wire right in between there, hit it with the solder, and it's good. All you're really going to get off this flight controller is your, is your battery voltage uh, being sent to your Tyrannus. But then you, know, you got your connector here, so that all works really well compact and your receiver stays on the bottom of your flight controller if you take it off to access the PDB. I run the wires on the ESC over and to the flight controller this way and then here and here that way when you if you had to take out take up your uh, flight controller it will kind of cap over this way. Uh, probably should have used this pad here for the ESC wire instead of coming around to the front because when you stack and when you put on your top plate you get a little bit it's not pinching it but it's it's not yeah you know, it's not loose either so that's why I have. I went ahead and put the shrink wrap around here. Uh, if I did it again, I would just run that wire here and not have anything pinching through that area. But uh, you can see there's plenty of room still in the st on the stack. Uh, of course, my uh, VTX is going to be up here. But and then I'll. Probably run this up through that little slot here if it'll fit. If not, I'll just come around somewhere and tie it off. But that's what I've got so far on. Seemed pretty good kit for uh, 105 bucks, and that comes with some other ones. I'll do a part two. All right, ready to maiden it, and you can see here's the little. 
connector I have to adjust the OSD. It's just spliced in the in between the camera and the VTX. Uh, one of the other tips I didn't say was use longer screws going up through the frame into the standoffs to get a little more uh, threads in the standoff. Uh, don't have my ESC covers on and I'm kind of running the antenna through these tubes down the back here. Probably not the best for keeping it away from the frame and all for range, but it's pretty well protected there. Uh, saw that little wire tie trick to keep some curve in the antenna from Jeff Victory Quad Logic. And let's see here, easy accessible and visible with that uh, VTX. Got the power for my transponder, 5 volt right there running off the uh, flight controller. And you can see how I got the battery strap just uh, scooting under the uh, PDB. I don't, don't go through the slots there because I kind of strap the uh, wires in there like that. I may change that up, but for now it's quick and easy. So, I'm not going to maiden it in here, but I just want to see how. Oops, engines are. Oh, look how slow those spin with that BL Heli S. That's kind of nuts. Alright, time to step outside.